Now don't you come up here trying to start drama. There's no drama here, baby. No, I'm just so, very surprised that y'all's doors are open. Whose name did he put on the building? What happened to you? You used to be a great manager, like other than the fact you have a bad attitude here and there, but like you were great. And then all of a sudden you're just very insecure and absolutely ridiculous to work around. What is wrong? I was the manager, me. I worked hard for that role. And you walk in here and he's like, hey, you want assistant manager without even talking to me about it. <laughs> what do you find so funny? Your insecurity is showing, Charles. You're acting like a middle schooler. And this kind of behavior is ridiculous from a grown man. This is, I can't deal with you right now. You've decided to conduct yourself like an immature child instead of having an adult conversation with me and the owner. Instead, you've thrown a hissy fit that I don't want to be a part of. So now you think you're better than everybody? Ew, no sir, you are acting like Tina. Do not dare call me that. Let me guess, he's already made you manager? He's talked about it. I haven't agreed to it because I was hopeful that you were gonna come back and be a civilized human being and a respectable adult, but instead you've come back and acted like this. And I obviously you can't come back here because you have nothing but drama that follows. When you showed up is when the drama happened. Nothing happened when it was just me and two other girls here. When you showed up, everything went to hell. I don't have time for your immaturity currently. I love you and I hope that one day you change and that you decide to be a mature human being and that you decide to grow up. I mean, you are a grown human being. Start acting like it. And I hope that the drama no longer follows you after you leave here. I love you and I hope that one day you can just be better. Goodbye, Charles. I'm a child. Bailey, I've been in this industry for 30 years. 30! You respect me. You're a child. Ugh. Can we meet for coffee? I would like to discuss the payment prior to you putting my name on the building and plus Charles just randomly showed up and I want to tell you about all that. All right, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and go over pricing with you real quick. This is my price menu. Oh, okay. Thank you. And if you're working within a budget, you let me know. We can try to figure out something out. I know so many other stylists to do all of these services for a lot cheaper. Oh, okay. This is just ridiculously priced. I can't afford this. Oh, okay. Well, then no big deal. It was wonderful meeting you. What do you mean by that? Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed since you said that the, I was ridiculously priced that you didn't want to continue on with your service. No, I still want to get my hair done today. I'm just not paying those prices. Well, that's that's what I charge. Um, so if you if you do know other stylists that will do it cheaper, then I maybe they're a great stylist. You may want to go to them instead. I don't like their work. No. I I really don't know how to go forward with this because this is my pricing. Um, Working a little bit with it is one thing, but um, like how, what is your budget? I'm not paying any more than a quarter of those prices. Mm. Um, see, that might not be doable, um, depending on what you're getting done, unless you're wanting just like a quarter of your head done. <laughs> Who asks that if I only want a quarter of my hair done? That is disgusting. I work really hard and I deserve to get my hair done, but I'm not paying those prices. You know what, you're not touching my hair, I'm done. Ew, no ma'am, I was willing to work with you. You decided to be rude. Oh, okay. I'm already running late for my flight, so if you could hurry up, that'd be wonderful. And I was supposed to have a direct flight, and now it says I'm supposed to have a layover, and that's not okay with me. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Can I have your driver's license so I can pull up your boarding pass? Take your time. I'm trying not to miss another flight. Thank you. And what was the reason that you were late for your first flight? Is it lunch with some very important people? Are you nosy or something? just making conversation um so the only direct flight we had today is the one that you missed um and so they rebooked you for the one later which is the only other flight that we have going to your destination and that one does have a layover oh you people are so incompetent i paid for a direct flight sweetie i don't want a layover correct but you missed that one just give me a direct flight why is that so difficult there's one tomorrow would you like me to reschedule you for that for tomorrow are you stupid? I paid for a flight today. I want my flight today. So the options it looks like we have for you are one, you stay on the flight that we have you scheduled for today because you missed your first one. That unfortunately does have a layover. Two, you can wait for tomorrow for a direct flight. Or three, drive there. Which one would you prefer? You have been so unhelpful. I paid good money for this. I will be talking to someone. Which one did she choose? I need to click a button. Hey, um, so I got bad news. Charles actually quit, didn't he? I didn't hear that improperly. Yeah, that gets worse. So you know how his name is on the business license? He remembered that and went and crossed his name out. And so now we can't have our doors open until we got get a new name put onto the business license. Please tell me you're kidding. That's not funny. Ha ha ha, I'm kidding. 
Oh God, I thought you were being serious. Whew. Yeah, no, I was kidding. No, he actually did quit. Bailey. Yeah, he was like really upset. And then I may or may not have made it worse by saying that he was acting like Tina. Um, and he got his feelings like really hurt about that. Whoa, hold on, pause. You called him Tina? Yeah, because he was acting like a darn child and I didn't want any part of it. And so I told him he was acting like a child and he needed to like stop. And he got his feelings really hurt about it. And all of this is over me wanting to hire Harper over Abby because he knows Abby's mom. How did their interview process go? Like what happened? Can you give me details? So how about this? I'll call you back later and I'll tell you all about it so you're fully aware, but I need you to go and tell the rest of the girls that they can't work the rest of the day until I get the business license changed and I'm going to go do that now, but you have to tell them that they have to reschedule the rest of their day. Why do, why do I have to do that? I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. People are going to be mad. Yeah. Yeah. You have fun with that. You little assistant manager. You, I didn't even want this role. You put me in it without asking me and now here we are in this situation. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Bless you. Do you need a Kleenex? I've got one. Ow. You okay. Do you need a Band-Aid? I've got no, I'm one. Okay. Here, just put this on. No, just it's fine. No, put some Neosporin first. Here. Oh, my head hurts. Really? How much water have you drank today? Do you need some? No, mm -hmm. I'm fine. You're good? Okay. What's your sleep schedule like? You need to make sure you're drinking plenty of liquids. All right, before we leave, does anyone need to go to the bathroom? So what time is everybody thinking that the, we're kind of going to wrap all this up? Because like, I just got a new book that's really good. And I was hoping to like be in bed by like 830. Let's stop and get some food. Oh, I have a snack in here. or I can just make you something when we get back home. Oh, you have something on your face here. Here. So great news, everybody. We get to go home early. Yay. Did my client call and cancel? I'm confused. I make my own schedule. So when Charles marked his name off on the business license um, earlier, that meant that we can't keep the doors open. So we need you to, the owner told me that we need, he needs you to finish up with the clients that you have and reschedule the rest for either the rest of this week or next week. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, Charles kind of screwed everyone over because he threw a hissy fit. It's wonderful. It's great. But I will help anyone um, reschedule the rest of their clients and try to figure it out the best of my abilities. I'm about to go have to call mine as well. Can we finish the clients that we have in our chair at least? Yes, Kirsten, she has color on her head. Don't make her leave with that. Yes, finish with her and then we have to like close the door and not take any more clients. But hold on, can we for sure come back to work tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, what's wrong with your face? Why, why are you saying it like that? Because I have no clue. I have no clue. I don't know what's going on. I've never run a salon before. I've never been a manager before. This is the second salon I've ever worked at. I'm still new to this industry and I don't know what's going on. I'm just following the rules of what the owner has told me and what the previous manager told me before he up and quit and left us all screwed. Ooh, um, didn't, didn't mean to strike a nerve there. <sighs> not your fault. This is not on you. I'm frustrated and ill and I need to go call my clients. Let me know if I need to help you call yours. I'll be back. Oh, baby, you got hair in your eyes here. No, no, no. Don't you dare put his hair in a ponytail. I just want to get the hair out of his face so he doesn't get pancake syrup in his hair. It's not a big deal. You will not put my son's hair in a ponytail. He is a boy, not a girl. I just gave him a bath this morning. I don't want to have to give him another one because we know you're not going to. I am his father and I'm telling you, no, do not put his hair in a ponytail. He is only eight months old and I don't want people thinking he is a girl. <sighs> okay, looks like you're getting a bath when we get home. Let's just add more to my plate, why don't we? You really need to learn to obey. I am your husband. You're supposed to listen to me, especially about my son. Over me just not wanting my son's hair to be in his face. Got it. All right, so I got all the girls sit home and they were not happy. So can you now tell me about the, how the interviews went with the candidates? Oh yeah, I forgot that I was supposed to tell you about it. So how it went was, uh, Harper, Abby, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day today so we can get this interview process started. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to see us today. I missed that. Will you say that again? Not to interrupt or anything, but I do believe that I'm the better candidate for this position. Confidence is key, correct? To a degree, yeah. Um, so can y'all tell me about why you're leaving your previous salon and wanting to work here instead? So my salon closed and that's why I'm having to find another one. My old salon, they were so rude. They had unrealistic expectations for me and it's just, I couldn't stay there any longer. Okay, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? 
So after finishing my client for the day, I would be tired because I'm not trying to overwork myself. And so I would leave like color bowls sitting out and like I wouldn't clean up or something. And they would lose their marbles because it was lunchtime and people have to work the rest of the day. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Like my mental health is important. I'm gonna go ahead and forewarn you that I want my salon to remain clean. So before you leave, I would appreciate you to clean up your station. Um, are y'all both fully booked? I, I don't have any more room for any other clients. It's the salon's job to make sure I have clients in my chair. That's not my problem. Not to be like told you so or anything, but told you so. I told Har told you that Harper was the better choice. I'm not denying that at all, but unfortunately now we have an open chair and so I'm gonna offer both of them the job. No, 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 hold on. So, hold on. No, 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 don't do that. That's drama related. We're not doing that. We're trying to get away from drama. We've got rid of Tino. We've now Charles is gone. So drama is gone. Maybe, how about this? Let's just ask Harper to see if anybody else wants to come here from her old salon that closed. Oh, that, that would have been really smart to do. But unfortunately, I have sent both of them a message already offering the position. Ah, uh, now what are you headed to go do now? I forgot to tell you. I'm putting your name on the business license. You're doing, you're doing what? Hi, welcome in. Did you find anything okay today? This is it. Thank you. All right, I think I have you. Um, I don't, I can't get the receipt to print. Hold on just one second. No big deal. Take your time. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, Jocelyn, can I see you at the register, please? <sighs> what do you need? Hey, I can't get her receipt to print. Can you help me real quick? Did they not show you this in training? Thank you. It's, um, it's been one of those days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Technology is finicky sometimes. Not a big deal. There, it's fixed. I, I'm so sorry about the inconvenience. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. It's time for you to quit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have not agreed to this. We've not talked about this. This is the only second salon I've ever worked at. I'm not ready for management. You're overthinking things. It's not hard. It's super simple. You've got this. Why me? There are girls in the salon that have worked so much longer in the industry that know so much more and I, I, I'm not ready for this. Bailey, you're a take charge type of person. You're literally like the most bossy person I think I've ever met. You'll be fine. Well, how about this? What's the incentive? Like, why why do I want to add more to my plate and deal with all of the drama? Well, am I getting paid? Like, are we going to talk about that? Or are you just going to put my name on it and just give me the extra work? Well, since this is kind of a risk on my end, putting someone so new into a management position, um, I've just decided not to charge you booth rent. Okay, um, but that... That's only like, what, four or five dollars an hour? Yeah, uh, you're great with math, but I gotta go because I'm pulling in. Hold on, I want to find out what does it entail if my name is on the license? Does, am I held responsible if something happens? Like, what does this mean? I mean, technically, yeah, but it's not a big deal. I'll call you back later, okay? What the? I didn't agree to this. Hey, I'm here to get the rest of my stuff. Do you miss me yet? Hello? Hey, do you have a second? I wanted to talk to you about the interviews the other day. Yeah, um, I'm just folding towels, but I'm gonna put you on speaker because no one else is here. So I see what you were talking about, about Harper. Um, she is five years in the industry, fully booked clientele, um, but she, you weren't lying when you were talking about how soft-spoken that child is. Right? She's so quiet, but it's kind of nice. Like we have a lot of loud girls here. Yeah, and then with Abby, there are a lot of red flags. Really? Um, can I ask what? Well, it was a lot of what you've already told me about how she has job hopped a lot in the past three years to 12 different salons and how a lot of drama has followed her and how it wasn't her fault. Um, and I asked her if she's fully booked and she says she has like three regulars, but she relies a lot on walk-ins. Ooh, we don't get that many. Sorry, y'all are just back here talking crap about me. How about this? I'm done. Charles, no, 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 we weren't talking crap. He was just informing me of what he had decided on the interview process. In case either one of you has forgotten, I'm manager. He should have called me first. Whoa, 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 did I hear incorrectly? Did I just hear Charles say he quits? Yes, you heard that right. I quit. Hold on, let me call you back. Charles, don't be dramatic. What are you doing? Stop. Don't do that. I want you to be manager so bad, so be it. I quit. Stop for a second and talk to me like a grown adult. Are you quitting because you're mad that he decided on Harper or because he called me first? I'm manager Bailey. He should have called me and talked to me first. And do we see why he decided to call me first? You were acting out. You were being dramatic right now. Oh, I'm being dramatic. Uh, if What if he had chosen Abby instead of Harper? Wouldn't have you been upset? I would have been sad for Harper because she was a better candidate. But no, I would not have thrown a hissy fit and decided to quit out of nowhere. You are so full of it, Bailey. You would have been just as mad as what I am right now. What are you doing now? What are you doing?
the salon owner is not a hairstylist. So you have to have a licensed hairstylist on the business license for it to remain open. And my name's not gonna be on this building anymore. You are so spiteful that you're going to cross out your name so that the salon can't, so you're gonna make all of the girls here not be able to work because you're this spiteful. And I'm here on weekends and in late nights, then normally a manager is always going to be here. You are missing the point. I'm the manager. I'm insane. You're gonna make me go insane. I understand that and I will fully uphold my respect for you as manager as long as you're a manager. What I am saying is that you can't be here all the time and I can't be here all the time. So why not have someone who is here in charge when the other one can't be here? I guess that kind of does make sense, but I don't like it. Okay, we're moving places, we're going places. If you're gonna say something, say where I can hear it. I can't do it, Charles. I can't do it with you. Can't do what? Come into work trying to figure out if you're going to be mad at me or not because I'm just simply existing. I did not ask for this position. I'm not taking your position away from you. I am just simply acting as manager if you are not here and I will call you if anything is needing to be okay through you. I promise you. Fine, whatever. But Abby and whatever her name should be here in a little bit. I'm going to go insane here. I'm going to go insane. Hey Harper. Hey Abby. Hey Abby. How are you today, baby? So that there's no biased opinions, I've decided I'm gonna conduct the interview without either one of you in the room, okay? No, 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 I'm the manager. I would like to be in there. Oh, that's genius. I think that'll work out great that way. Like he has final say because it is his salon that he owns. Of course you would side with him. Charles, could you not try to argue in front of the girls we're about to interview? I can't believe that he won't let me, the manager, be in there. Why are you so nervous? There's no telling what you told him, which will make him lean towards Harper. You've got a real stick up your ass recently. Is it because you're like really insecure or is, have I done something? Because like, I don't think I've done anything. So if we need to have a conversation, let's have a conversation. No, it's just you're trying to steal my job. If I was a spiteful person, I would say, well, Charles, you know, if you would actually do your job properly, no one else would have to do it as well to make sure everything was done. But I'm not a spiteful person, so I won't say that. But you just said it. No, that was just me telling you what I would say. I didn't say it to you. I was just telling you what went through my brain that I didn't actually say to you. I was just kind of like relaying what would have happened. See, this, this is why you shouldn't be manager. That's fair, but technically I'm not manager. You are, I'm assistant manager. Because of you, we can't be in that interview room hearing what's going on. Yeah, sure, blame it on me, I'm the problem. Why is it taking them so long? Probably because the owner doesn't rush through interviews and make sure he gets all of the information needed to know prior to allowing a stylist in here. Harper, Abby, it was wonderful meeting with both of you. I'm gonna sit down and think everything over and then I'll give you both a call by the end of the week, okay? How did it go? Did you just love Abby? Um, I'm gonna do a pros and cons list and figure out who I like best and then let you and Bailey know. That is not the proper way of handling things. If you like someone, you need to tell us so that we are prepared. You know, you're the owner, so whatever you decide, I'll stand behind, so I gotta go to work. All right, Karen, do you have like a ponytail holder to pull up your hair with? No, why? Well, you remember I don't have time to blow dry you now because you were 30 minutes late for your appointment? But I'm here now. I was having fun with my friends. We were at brunch. Right, and typically I would just have canceled your appointment with being 30 minutes late, but instead, out of kindness in my heart, I took you and just did your color and we agreed that you were not gonna get blow dried. I thought you were just trying to make me feel bad. No, I wasn't kidding around. My next client's about to walk in the door. Well, she can wait up front like everybody else and wait for my service to be done. I get being late because there's traffic or something happened, a flat tire, your cat was running out in the road and you had to go get it. Like I get that kind of stuff and I completely understand it and respect it and will completely try to work with you the best I can. But this was because you were having brunch with your friends, not a legitimate reason. So I'm sorry, Karen, today you're leaving with a wet head. I will never be coming back. I'm done with you. I tried to care, but it felt gross, so I stopped. Next. Uh, okay, well, it tastes a little bit different, I guess. It's fine. Um, for my boyfriend over here, he wants the exact same thing. So I guess no microgreens, but kale and spinach, but he wants extra dressing and chicken, extra chicken. All right, perfect. And what's this gonna be for here to go? To go.
No problem. Um, since it is to go, I'm going to go ahead and have them write chicken and no chicken on the salads themselves just so there's no mix up. Yeah, that would be appreciated. All right, and you guys are good to go. And, and you're going to bring us our food when it's ready, correct? No, we're going to have you come pick up your food when your name is called. Your boyfriend gave me his name right at the beginning. Yeah, that was nice of him, but I didn't hear that. So go ahead and call my name. It's Carmen. All right, well, we will call Carmen when it's ready. We call her name about twice. She doesn't come up. And about two minutes later, she comes up to me and says this. Excuse me. Um, pretty sure we ordered food. Just wondering when it was going to be ready. Oh, it's actually already ready. It's right up there for you. Oh, well, thanks for bringing it to us when it was ready. No problem. She comes back up like three or four minutes later, absolutely fuming. Excuse me. Yeah, I need to speak to your manager immediately. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Don't say anything else to me. Just go get your manager. Hey, manager. Yeah, Jillian. What's up? There's a lady who's really pissed off, no idea why. Okay, well, could you maybe figure out why? Because I'm not leaving this office unless I absolutely have to. If I'm taking a wild guess, she told me that she's vegetarian, her husband ordered something that was not vegetarian, and I'm guessing she probably ate it or something. I don't know. All right, just... Give me like two seconds. Okay, yeah, she's waiting up front. I'm gonna go ahead and go on break and you can just tell me the tea afterward. I will tell you, just... Go take a break. Hi, ma'am. Was there something I can help you with? I specifically told your cashier that I was vegetarian. Specifically, I told her multiple times, and yet my food came out with meat on it. Okay, did you and your husband order the same thing? We ordered the same salad, but I'm vegetarian, so I ordered no chicken on mine, and I got chicken on mine. He didn't have any meat on his. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm looking at is yours says chicken, and his says no chicken. So could you maybe switch those? So yours is what you ordered and his is what he ordered? No, I'm not eating any more of your food. I want a refund. No, I'm not giving you a refund because you ate your boyfriend's food that is clearly marked. So there's nothing else. Have a great day. They ended up leaving and left a mess on their entire table. Hi, thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Julian now. Can I help you? Hello, I was wondering if you guys will gift cards. Yeah, we do. Great, I'll be there in about 30 minutes to pick one up. Okay, I will see you soon. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I'm here to get your gift card deal. I'm sorry, our gift card deal? Yeah, you guys sent out an email about it, so I'm here to get the gift card deal. I'm not really familiar with a gift card deal that we're having right now. Would you be able to show me the email that you got? <sighs> the deal, right here. So that email is from December 14th of last year, of 2022. No, I got this email today, and the email says that if I buy $30 worth of gift cards, you will give me a $10 free gift card. So that's a deal that we normally do around the holidays. That's not something we do in March. Um, and because that email, it says the date right there, it's from December 14th of 2022. I can't honor that deal. And on top of that, we don't even have the gift cards we use for that because they're Christmas themed because we only do it around the holidays. But I specifically called and asked if you guys will gift cards and you told me yes. Which is no problem. I can gladly give you a $30 gift card. You're just not going to get the free $10 gift card because we're not doing that deal right now. So you're telling me that even though I have the email that states that you guys do this and I drove all the way here and I called, you're still not going to honor the deal. Yes, that is correct because the email that you're showing me is from December 14th of last year. We only do that around the holidays. And when you called, you specifically asked for gift cards if we sell them, not if we're doing a deal right now. If you guys want to lie to your customers and send out a deal and then not honor that deal, that's on you guys. But personally, I'm done coming here because I'm done being lied to. Okay, that's fine. Have a good day. I also will be writing a review about this business. That is totally fine. She ended up writing a review, which said that she called and asked specifically about the deal. We told her that we would honor it. And then when she got into the store, we told her that we decided we weren't going to honor it anymore. Left out literally everything. Hi, ladies. Welcome in. Is there anything I can help you guys with today? Okay, no worries. I will let you guys look at the menu, and then if you need anything, just ask me or Sam. Okay. A few minutes later. Hey, Sam, I'm going to go ahead and go on break. The two women right there have not been helped. Um, anytime I try to talk to them, they just give me a weird look. So, I'm going to go on break, just letting you know. Girl, I got it, no problem. Go on break. Okay, thanks. Hey, Julian, now that you're back from break, uh, the manager wants to talk to you, so I don't know. I don't think you're in trouble. They just want to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Hey, manager, you wanted to see me? Hey, Julian, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about two older women that came in earlier, like right before you went on break. You didn't even like end up helping them. Sam ended up helping them. Oh yeah, they were a little odd. 
So can you tell me what happened with them? Yeah, but not a lot happened. They came in, I said, hi, welcome in. Um, and then I asked them if they needed any help. They just stared at me. I asked again, they stared at me. So I went on break because you told us to and I asked Sam to help them. See, that sounds more right than what they told me. They talked to you, what did they say? First, let me just tell you that you're not in trouble and I'm not going to do this, but they wanted to file a formal complaint against you because you yelled at them right when they walked through the door. Uh, yeah, I did not yell at them. The only thing I said that was a little bit louder than my normal tone of voice was, hi, welcome in, and it wasn't even loud. No, I figured. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still in the building though, so when they go to leave, don't say, have a good day, don't say anything, because I don't- That's actually my fault. Um, one, I was not gonna fire her, and number two, I didn't want you guys to feel like you were being yelled at again, so I told her not to say anything else to you. Well, I just think that's disrespectful. I'm sorry you feel that way. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, this place is just very disappointing. Okay, have a nice day. After that, they just left. Hey Jillian, I just wanted to let you know that somebody named Samantha is going to come in. She's getting a refund because she didn't like her food from yesterday, but you still need to ask for a receipt and the card she paid with. But other than that, she's taken care of. Okay, no problem. I got it. Like an hour later. Hi, I'm Samantha. I talked to a manager about getting a refund for yesterday. Yep, I can go ahead and get you taken care of right here. I just need the card that you paid with and your receipt. I don't have my receipt. Okay, do you have an account with us? A reward account? Yeah, it's um. Are you saying that I'm lying? No, I'm just saying that our system doesn't have your order from yesterday. Did you maybe come with somebody? Like, did you say your phone number instead? I was with my friend yesterday, and yeah, we used her phone number. Okay, perfect. What's her phone number? It's 432-432-4431. Okay. Yep, there it is. Alright, and then I need to before the that you pay with. Oh, well, I don't have that either. I didn't pay for it. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I didn't pay for it. My friend paid for it. We came here yesterday, and I got a salad, and she got a sandwich, but she wasn't really feeling her sandwich, and I really wasn't feeling my salad, so we switched, but she, yeah, she ended up paying for it, but I didn't, I didn't pay for it. Wait, so you're telling me, so did you end up getting something to eat that you like? Yeah, when we switched, it was really good. Okay, and she was the one who paid for it, yes? Yes, I just said that. Okay, I, I can't give you a refund. The manager said you could. I could have given you a refund if you paid for it, but you didn't pay for it. It's on your friend's card that she used. Okay, then just give me cash. I can't just give you cash out of the cash register. It has to go back on the card that you paid with. Um, and because your friend paid for it, I can't just give you money out of the cash register. So you're telling me that I came all the way out here to get a refund and I can't even get my refund? I can't even get my money back? Yeah, because it's not your money. You didn't pay for it. You know what? Go tell your manager this and I bet they'll be able to come out and help me. Okay. Manager, funny story. So the woman who said that I was supposed to give a refund to Samantha, um, yeah, she's here and she wants a refund. Right. Got it. Good job. Oh, I was finished. The issue is that she didn't even end up paying for her food. Her friend did. So she wants a refund for something she did not pay for. Wait, you're telling me that the card that she told me that she paid with isn't even her card? We can't give her a refund for something she didn't pay for. Yeah, I know. And she wants to talk to you. So I'll just come back here. Finally, hi, I'm Samantha. I'm the one who you talked to on the phone who you said that you give a refund to. Yeah, you're in 